All right, now we're looking at the individual player periodization plan. Now this is the six, the first part is the six weeks. So you can see here, we have week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, and we put down the days that, or the weeks that they're covering. And this is done so we can track the player's training load and see where we can maybe improve a little bit for this player. Okay, and really be able to gather further information. So it works from week one, where it says week one to August 31, you go down like this, and that's their Monday through Sunday for the week. Week two, same thing, September 7th, Monday through Sunday down. Week three, the 14th, down. Week four, the 27th of September, here, down. Same thing for week five, September 28th and down. Week six, October 5th and down. Now, you, you want to build this out, and all you're trying to do is just cover what you're doing during those days. So include off days if you have them. So if you have a day that's off, write off. Okay, and that way you're able to see what the player is working on and trying to improve. Okay, during that week or weeks of development. So for the first week of August 31, this player is participating in the 2010 team training from 6 to 7:30. On Tuesday they're training with the 07, so they're being pushed to the higher level. And then on Wednesday it's an optional technical training. Thursday they're back with their normal team with the 2010s. Friday they have another optional technique session. Saturday, there's no training, but they're doing the Pro Mindset course. Sunday, they're doing a supplemental one-hour training on their own with their parent. And then that way you can see here what they're trying to work on for the week. And you can cover their workload and rest periods and things like that. So same thing here um, in the second week. Third week is, so the second week is the same. Third week's a little bit different. The third week, we had a scrimmage against Orlando FC. And then we had a tournament that weekend at the Adidas Fall Classic. Game one and two, game three and four. Now, they didn't have training. They had a recovery day. All our teams did that day, so that's why it still says team training. So they had a recovery day on Monday. Tuesday, he went back at it with the 07s training. Wednesday, back for optional. And you can kind of see how the rest of this works out. So all you're going to do for the individual player periodization plan is for each week and each day that you have of that week, you're going to put down what you're trying to improve on, and you can ask your coach for help during that week. So you're going to put down what you're doing. So if you have a team practice, put it in. If you have a supplemental practice like a private or you're working on your own, put it in. If you're doing a course, like you're taking this master plan, put it in. Right? Those are all things that are helping your education process. And maybe you have multiple things happening in one day. So maybe you're doing the course, maybe you're watching game film, and you have a training session. Put that into your individual player periodization plan. And that way you have it all there for yourself and you can see what you need to be getting done. You can watch your workload. Maybe you need to take a step back. Maybe you can put a little bit more throttle to it. And that way you have it there for you. Okay, and here's the second period that we have. Um, the second set, which is week 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. From October 12th to November 16th. And it's another six weeks. So same type of setup, which you can see here. And this covers the second set of six weeks. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Fill this out. Do one at a time, and you can even do it per week. You don't have to necessarily do it for the whole six weeks. Take it per week, build it up, build it in, and that way you have it all set and ready to go for yourself, and you can keep tracking your data and your information. And you might be able to see where you can fit a little bit more in for yourself. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video.